In an interview to the media, the Indian Navy chief has confirmed that the Navy is fully supporting the development of the twin-engine deck-based fighter program and is monitoring the program from its naval project office in Bangalore. After the approval of the preliminary design review, the critical design review will take two more years to be completed. The fabrication and assembly of first prototype will begin in early 2025, and the first flight has been planned in 2026. The first two prototypes will act as technology demonstrators for flight certification and testing of various systems and subsystems, and only the third TED-BF prototype will be involved in deck-based carrier takeoffs and landings. The rollout of the first limited production variant of the TED-BF will happen in 2031, that will start replacing the MiG-29K from 2034 onwards. The Director General of the Aeronautical Development Agency has said that after a lot of discussions with the Air Force and Navy, the two services have agreed on the commonality of three upcoming fighter jets, and using the same systems and subsystems will reduce the development workload. He also said that the internals of the Tejas Mark I systems and subsystems were positioned by designers without consultation with the maintenance crew, that made maintenance of the aircraft a bit time-consuming but the Tejas Mark II, AMCA and Ted BF will share most of the avionics line replaceable units engine and derivatives of the UTAM radar, and each aircraft will be modular so that it can be adapted for changes of systems and subsystems as per user requirements. He also said that Hindustan Aeronautics is already working on making the Tejas Mark I a more maintenance friendly by making the systems and subsystems more accessible by the maintenance crew and will also reduce 300 kilograms of dead weight inside the aircraft that was done to manage the center of gravity. There were reports that the Cavalry dry engine will head for flight testing in Russia, but amid the deteriorating situation in Eastern Europe, there is no confirmation that it has been flown to Russia. The Cavalry dry engine will undergo ground checks at Moscow's Central Institute of Aviation Motors, after which it will head to the Gromov Flight Research Institute outside Moscow, where it would be fitted on to a Russian IL-76 aircraft for its in-flight evaluation. The commander of Indian Army's Northern Command witness to demonstration of upper body exoskeleton that has been designed by a Delhi-based startup company Genelec Technologies in collaboration with IIT Delhi, which increases load lifting capacity of soldiers for varied military activities. The Indian Army is looking to procure thermal sight for its Sako TRG-42 sniper rifle. It should weigh less than 1000 grams and must be monocular and cooled and lightweight, and must be operable in all weather conditions and mountainous terrain at altitudes of about 8,000 to 16,000 feet. It should be able to detect a stationary person at 1.2 kilometers, and must have a minimum 4x digital zoom, and there must be no ingress of water in battery compartment or interior of sight, when immersed in 10 meters of deep water for up to 30 minutes. Tato Advanced Systems has displayed its wheeled armored platform at the World Defense Show in Saudi Arabia, which is likely to draw attention of potential customers in the region. The Indian Army has already completed all internal user trials of the WAP, and an order for 200 plus units is expected in the next few months. Amid indications that payments and supplies might face delay in the short term due to Western sanctions on Russia, the Defense Ministry has started an in-depth assessment of ongoing contracts of the three armed services with Russian entities, to examine both immediate as well as six-month impact of the situation. Defense officials have said that there is no immediate urgency for spares and other requirements as the three armed forces have already made significant emergency procurements in the last two years since the standoff in eastern Ladakh, and have fully stocked up on spares and ammunition.